and so L. Sprague to Camp is, is picking up and reiterating that idea here as he goes on and he says, some locate this prehistoric civilization in Plato's Atlantis, arousing snorts of derision <laughs> from geologists and oceanographers. Yes, snorts. we've been hearing those snorts of derision. <laughs> Well, that's what you do. If you want to make your case, you know, without having to actually go into like a detailed factual evidentiary based argument, yeah. you just, you know, snorts of derision. <laughs> you've, you've, you've won the argument. So some locate this prehistoric civilization, Plato's Atlantis, arousing snorts of derision from geologists and oceanographers who cite the utter lack of any large submerged landmass in the part of the Atlantic where Plato placed his sunken continent. Others say that the concept and name of, in quotes, Atlantis, are not unsuitable if it is understood that the land submerged was actually in Palestine or Tunisia or Sri Lanka or Spitsbergen, or dot, dot, dot. And yeah. of course, at that point, 1995, L. Sprague de Camp was referring to all of the various alternate locations that had now, every one of those that he mentioned had been proposed as the location of Atlantis. And that right. even probably not even a third of them right there. Yeah. Maybe a quarter of, of, of the other places <laughs> that were proposed, see? Anywhere but from where Plato placed it. But were those proposed as a result of that first that's, book, Factor Fiction? That's what I was going to say. Like, yes. if, if if the geologists are all snorting lines of derision, <laughs> snorting, <laughs> and then people are going to come up with other <laughs> alternatives. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it would be apropos. We all now practiced our working on our snorts of derision. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll practice it for sure. <laughs> I want to get it down so by the time we're done with the atlantis series here i'm going to be able to just nail them with a single snort with a single <laughs> snort you will be able to dismiss all your critics with a single snort that's right they will know when they hear that snort they will know that any attempt uh <laughs> dispute is going to be utterly futile that's right they will know they will know that they are dealing with a bona fide authority that's right and they, and they hear that snort <laughs> of derision. That's right. Of derision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, we should all work on our sorts of derision, people.